Welcome to Ask Apiary. My name is Mike. I'm a journeyman beekeeper in North Carolina, and today we're going to talk about parts of a honeybee. When we talk about humans, we can easily identify a head from a leg. When we look at bees as beekeepers, we should be able to do the same thing. That is what we're going to cover here today. Bees have three main body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. All three are covered in an exoskeleton. This would be like a human walking around in body armor. Unlike wasps, who are hairless, most of the exoskeleton on a honeybee has hairs. It's also worth noting that the honeybee has four wings that are fragile compared to the rest of the body. When handling the bees, be sure not to pull at the wings, just pinch both together and lift but don't yank. Let's take a look at the head. The head is composed of five eyes. You can see two compound eyes on either side of the head. However, if you look close, you can see three other eyes on top of the head in a triangle formation. The ocelli's primary job is to navigate the bees safely from the hive to the food source and back. The head also has a mouth, or mandible, with a tongue or proboscis. A note about the proboscis is it's always out of the mouth, but not always sticking out. If a bee has been poisoned, it will stick straight out, when the proboscis is at rest, it will lay relatively close to the chest. The head has two antennas, which can feel objects and can also smell. Smell is very important in a honeybee's life. There are many glands on a honeybee that leave little traces of smell throughout the hive and serves as a communication avenue for the bees. Moving on to the thorax, the thorax has two wings and on the exoskeleton is a mil millions of hairs. These hairs will pick up all kinds of particulates, including pollen, but this is not how the bees collect pollen. There are four wings on a honeybee, two located on each side of the thorax, the forewing and the hindwing. The forewing and hindwing has what is called hemuli. These, this is a way of like joining the two wings together using hooks and grooves. When these wings hook together, they typically take flight. I also want to note that where the bee wing attaches to the thorax, there's a red joint, and this part of the wing is typically confused with a varroa mite. The honeybee also has four legs on the thorax, one foreleg and one middle leg per side. The foreleg has a small hook for an antenna cleaner, but most of the time they're just used for walking. Lastly, I want to mention that the bees have breathing tubes in their thorax and abdomen. They have three breathing tubes, or spiracles, in the thorax along the side. The abdomen is the third armored workhorse of the bee. It's the third part of the bee. The abdomen has six spiracles, two legs, and the females have stingers. Males do not have stingers. The spiracles or breathing tubes can be blocked if bees come in contact with any kind of oil. They'll, they will eventually drown if the oil gets into the spiracles. Be careful when filling your small hive beetle traps with oil or taking them out of the hive and they spill. The good news is the other bees will try and clean her off and prevent her from dying. A forger bee never misses leg day. These legs have pollen baskets or what's called corbicula. Corbicula is located on the bottom portion of the hind leg and has hairs in a circular formation like a basket. The bees will gather pollen from a flower, add a little bit of water to it, and store it in the pollen leg, very similar to storing snacks in our cargo pants pockets. When it comes in to the stinger, the worst place in my opinion to be stung is the fingertip and the ankles. I always recommend wearing a veil to avoid being stung in the face and long pants to protect your privates. What's the worst place you've been stung? Were you wearing protection? Do you wear protection now after being stung? The female honeybees all have stingers located 
on the very rear end of the abdomen. For worker bees, these are barbed stingers and will stick into human flesh and rip out the venom sac out of the bee. This kills the worker bee. They don't choose to sting unless they think it will save the colony. Keep that in mind when you get stung. I always say one of two things. What, what did I do to deserve this? Or I totally deserve that. Queen bees have smoother stingers and will sting over and over. In my experience in handling queens, I've never been stung. I'm convinced my queens don't even know they have a stinger because my first year handling them, I was super clumsy. Then I was told by Ken Floatum that, that if you want to get better at handling queens, handle drones. Just practice barking drones and what they will do is they will buzz loudly and shake violently uh, to escape and then they just kind of stop. They wear themselves out. Well, that's a pretty extensive overview of a honeybee. If I missed something, let me know in the comments. If you like what you saw, show us some love. If you didn't, let us know what we can do better. Thanks for watching. For you viewers that made it to the end, I have a question. I heard on the Hive Jive podcast that bees in the U.S. buzz and bees overseas zub. What do your bees do and what region are you in? All right, I'm getting the buzz out of here.